Hello, and welcome back everyone. It's Ricardo from Carbs and Curves here. Today we're talking about this sick blind setup. Before we get into it, smash that like button, and if you haven't, hit the subscribe button and bell for notifications for new content. Got a brand or product you'd like us to try? Leave it in the comments below. Follow us on Facebook at Carbs and Curves. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm truly excited about this one. We have a Blind 775 from the OG Logo series. This is one of my favorite series of all time. Gon's laid down a classic logo before he left the company. And I've always been a huge fan of Blind Skateboards and thought the highest of their videos and the skaters that have graced the brand over the years with great names like Jason Lee, Gon's, Guy Mariano, Henry Sanchez, Corey Shepard, Ronnie Krieger, Cody McIntyre, Morgan Smith, TJ Rogers, Seva Krukov, Yuta Horagom, the, the list goes on. I honestly had a pretty large blind collection at one point. I've added some and I've sold a few, but I still have most of them in one condition or another. But today we're talking about the one that started it all, and that's this custom 775. It came with mini logo trucks and 52 millimeter wheels and bearings. I thought it was so nice that I bought the same setup twice. With this one being the first deck. And all the colorways and sizes of this series to follow, but honestly, there's still a lot of life left to it. And no twist. I mean, I bought it four years ago. I mean, as you can see, if I set it up, it'd still have a good pop. But honestly, I'd rather retire most of my boards and break them if I can. I have a closet full of them, but that's a whole nother video. This skateboard measures in at 31 by 775 inches in length, with a 6 inch tail and a 6.5 inch nose, and a 13.88 wheelbase. If I had to describe it, I would say it's more of a medium concave with steeper kick tails on the nose and tail. It's not a single press deck. So it is a little heavier, as you can see, it's got some thicker plies that held up for even a bigger guy like me. Coming back into skateboarding in 2014, I found that not many people were skating smaller decks anymore. Not only that, but this style of dimension is still hard to find these days because most companies don't press that many 775s or even 8 inch skateboards. And when they do, the wheelbase is over 14 inches long and the length of the skateboard itself is anywhere between 31.4 inches and over 32 inches in length which is, in my opinion, more suited for something more burly, like 825s and up, or something shaped for pools or cruising. When the wheelbase is tighter, you don't have to stretch or put much effort into flip tricks if you have great board control, which allows for more technical flips and grinds. I believe the saying, skate smarter, not harder, couldn't be more relevant when we're talking setups like this. As I said earlier, it came with black and blue mini logo trucks. which I have also swapped out multiple times for Indies, Crux, Tensor 10s, Tensor Hollows, New Age Tensor Mag Lights, and the OG Tensor Mags. As you can see before you, I enjoyed the most. They also bolted down with some Shorty's Lights hardware. Represent, represent. It also came stock with some blue blind 52mm wheels, which I have also swapped out many a times for 60mm Classics, 56mm Spitfire Soft Bs, 57mm 92A Richta Clouds and some tiny 42mm red and blue colored berries that I mix match myself. And I personally love skating them so much that I pulled them off and I threw them on this world setup that I will break down in a whole nother video. Let's get it out of here. In their place, I pulled out this set of old super skated down wheels that I thought would match the natural color under the graphic a lot better and feel a little closer towards the early 90s aesthetic. I had Sector 9 push dome flute ABEC 9 bearings in there, but I traded them for my nephew's busted set to keep him rolling, so that's what I have in these wheels right now. Not keeping me rolling. <laughs> I originally bought this first setup in March of 2017 and the follow-up in early 2019. I relearned all of my tricks with this setup. I landed my first tray flips again with this board and many of the tricks that I can't do today but would love to relearn, like 
backside flips and laser flips. Skating this setup made me reevaluate what I look for before choosing my next skateboard. While it wasn't the greatest skateboard I've ever skated, with the knowledge that I have retained and the great memories that I've had skating these setups make these two of my favorite setups of all time. And I am forever thankful. I am keeping this one here to forever remind me of this seminar. And I am giving the other one to my nephew in hopes that it brings him as much joy as it did for me until he needs another one. And that pretty much sums it up for this one. Dude, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more of this upcoming season of Carbs and Curbs. As always, support your local local, and thanks for watching.